Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your August 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Libra. Sun, moon, rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Libra, let's see what we have for you for August 2024. Your overarching energy, we have the Nine of Wands. The Wounded Warrior. but still a warrior. Let's see what we have for you. Page of Wands, I do like that. I like the way those cards have just come out because I feel something is completing for you. Let's see what else we get. We have the Two of Wands. The Hanged Man. We have the Six of Pentacles. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Libra? Let's pull a card for love, romance, relationships. And we'll look at money, career, finances as well as any other message that comes through. You know, I'm getting I'm getting uh, quite a bit coming through now. Let's see what we get. What do we have for Libra? Message for Libra. August 2024. What do we have for Libra? Yeah, I've got the Two of Wands again. This is Love Romance and the Four of Pentacles. Let's see what we have in Money Career, though the Four of Pentacles can still be Money Career. I've been, I've been kind of getting messages across the board. So let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Libra? Message for Libra. Yeah, I thought that would come out. The devil. <laughs> Probably no match for this card. We have justice. Hmm. Let's see what we have for Libra. I mean, justice is the card of Libra. So pretty powerful when your card comes out. Let's see what we have for you. Communicate clearly, yes. Let's pull a card for love, romance, relationships. What do we have for Libra? Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. With a card of communication coming out, I mean, I see communication on all levels here. Um, mm. What do we have for Libra? Thank you. Message for Libra. Face your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realise that in fact you have nothing to fear, that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts.
Libra, when we have justice in a reading, it can be linked with things like legal processes, government institutions, an experience that you're going through that could be in any life area. You know, justice touches all of them, doesn't it? So uh, for some of you, this could be a formal process that you're going through. For others of you, it might well be, justice can also be very powerful in terms of contracts, but also um, decisions and choices, you know, that we make in truth. So let's talk about more official processes now. And I, I, I mean, to be honest, it, it's kind of like the same thing in money career terms as well. Um, if it was business, the same energies would really apply. I, it's interesting that when that nine of wands came out, we're tired, we're fed up. We're actually near the end of this, though, this whole experience, though, We've been tested so much that we don't know whether to just throw the towel in and walk away. And sometimes we feel like that. But then there's something within us. And it's the warrior. It's that warrior. I did say the wounded warrior is still a warrior. And it's that kind of spirit to fight on. It's that spirit here to, to kind of... Uh, to potentially see something through and persist with something, uh, a process that you're experiencing here because deep down you feel you've come this far in the journey and it's time to kind of like uh, dig in, you know. You're nearly at the end of this. Whatever this process is, you're near the end of this. And yes, you could see this also in terms of relationships or something that affects the relationship. I'm not really getting anything else other than this process that you're going through this experience it's been testing but you've literally got one final push one final hurdle one final obstacle but the choice is going to be do I do that or not because there is there's an energy, Libra, that I'm seeing here of someone thinking I can get 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 round. Um, I can get round or get my own way in some way if I just wait it out. And there's an offer. Now, sometimes the Six of Pentacles is a sum of money. It can be an offer to do with assets, business, you know, business, career, financial offer. Um, it can be a sum of money. It feels like there's an offer, but it can sometimes be uh, a bit of a breadcrumb offer. It can be uh, a person reaching out, giving something or offering something, but it's not everything that they could give. And this is the energy that I'm getting here. It feels like uh, a party or a person that you're dealing with. And this is what I'm seeing with the devil and justice as well almost kind of trying to circumvent doing what's right, trying to circumvent doing and, and wait it out or just using delaying tactics, wait, you know, um, <coughs> trying to circumvent doing the right thing, knowing what the right thing to do is, but not, but not offering you it. This feels... This feels like a, a payout. Now, if this is to do with um, a job, the energy would be, um, if you've been experiencing that uh, from, a, from a job point of view, so like I said, this could be a, a legal process that you're going through, government institutions. Um, it can also be, like I said, uh, if this was to do with a job, there is an opportunity here to step into the unknown. This is a choice between staying or going, which means that there might well be some kind of opportunity to, to step into the unknown. The two of ones can be about choosing between two paths, two opportunities. Do I stay or go? Do I step into the unknown? Now, it feels like some kind of wake-up call, if that's the case, um, on a business front, because this is where you might have been asking for more money or you've been asking for uh, getting greater value, responsibility, recognition. It feels more money related. Uh, a pay rise of some kind or bonus or... 
And there has been kind of delaying tactics, someone just trying to circumvent doing what's right. But like I said, when the justice came out with the devil, but, but there's always karmic consequences to that in the sense that you now have an opportunity to step into the unknown, potentially a new job, a new business opportunity here. And that will panic this person because, oh, this party it could be a company, because then they, 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 need, they know they need to offer you more. But I always kind of, you know, this is we reap what we sow, and this devil is reaping what they sow. Um, because justice always prevails, you know, justice, uh, karmic energy, when we try to circumvent things, when we try to kind of like not do what's right, when we try to act in our own interest, when we try to be even greedy, uh, or, um, <clears throat> you know, not open to seeing somebody else's point of view, there are always consequences to that. And that's what I'm seeing for you here. Because again, the nine of wands is, well, I don't know if now if I want to persevere on this path or continue on this path I'm really now thinking do I step into the unknown even though they're offering me now more money when they didn't do for so many you know so long a time now they're offering me more money uh, and more value more recognition just as I'm about to potentially leave or I have a new opportunity to step into the unknown with now they're trying to keep me and it's a little bit of, of <laughs> how the tables have turned you know and similarly, in a, in a legal position, it's the same kind of energy. Somebody who has been holding back. And I think there, it looks to be some kind of consequences for delaying tactics or playing games or not offering you everything that they could. It feels in this energy here, Libra, that that's going to kind of rebound on them in some way. And there is just that sense here of just keep on doing what you're doing and persevering, even though you're tired and fed up. This is, you're near the end of this, you know, and it is that sense here of, of one final push, one final obstacle, could be one final thing here to happen here and then you're done. But this is about fighting on. I am gonna pull one more card with the Nine of Wands. Either way, it looks like there have been delaying tactics, um, someone trying to get away with not wanting to give you what you deserve in some way, and, you know, being greedy as well. I mean, there is a sense of acting in their own interests too. So Libra, let's see what we have for you. What's coming in for Libra? What's coming in for Libra? <laughs> the Ace of Swords, victory, triumph, success. Clear choices, decisions, making them in truth. On a, you know, if you're choosing to stay or go, this is aligning with your truth, seeing the truth of a situation, and not being afraid to cut cords. You know, it's it's always a card of victory, triumph, success, breakthroughs. But this will be very good, also, like I said, in some, you know, process that you're going through. Um, and this is a card of victory and triumph. In decisions and choices, truth prevails. Truth will out, and there's there would be likely consequences. Uh, this is someone trying to get away or kind of circumvent <laughs> doing things right, and it's not going to work. Um, and similarly, you could see that in terms of business as well. You know, um, I think that, that in in that case, it will be you're you're aligning to a path of truth and making clear decisions that are right for you, the right choice, the right decision and the right path, you know? It's what I have for you, Libra. Interesting reading. I'm gonna pull you uh, an angel and ancestors oracle message. So let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Libra? Message for Libra angel spirits guides. We have Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Let's read that out. What do we have for Libra, Peacekeeper?
Choose peace and happiness over the need to be right. Rather than trying to prove a point, save your energy for what's important. I mean, this is, that's what I'm getting here. I feel that the peace energy is, you're likely going to get a fair offer in victory and truth because even though someone is acting in a particular way, not to give you the right amount of, of money, um, it's not going to work. And and this is keep on keeping on because actually it, it certainly feels it could spill over potentially into September, that kind of energy. But um, I, I definitely feel here, Libra, it's worth... I think you know what they're doing and I think there is a sense of truth prevails. Uh, so don't worry about that. And there could be karmic consequences as a result of that. Uh, for others of you, I mean, this can be about deciding whether you want to keep on fighting or keep on persevering on a path and deciding whether you can be bothered. Um, because I definitely see if it's to do with a job, there's likely, if it just is about your just to step into the unknown potentially, and you're at that point where you can choose to stay or go, uh, there is that kind of tempting offer to keep you. But I definitely feel that it's not necessarily going to hold you back from aligning with your truth. Because again, there are consequences to an experience that you've had. And that would likely be they potentially lose you to a better job, you know. So we have choose peace rather over the need to be right, rather than trying to prove a point, save your energy for what's important. You may be feeling on the edge due to a stressful situation. There's a warrior within that wants to rise up, prove your point and get the truth across. But you're being reminded by ancestor wisdom that the truth will always be revealed in the end. It's more important at this time to avoid arguments or heated discussions where you know you'll be fighting a losing battle. There is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and the intuition that will lead you towards the healing of the whole situation, along with any wounds it may have inflicted on you. Choose peace you know is calling. So focus on what's important. And that's, that should be how you move forward to victory, truth, um, again, success, and also a new path. And you're making clear decisions. That's what I have for you, Libra, for the month of August 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.